Yeah, no sense of a big driving scene to get you here. We're actually here. We're here in Bowling Green, Kentucky at the National Corvette Museum. I'm here to actually surprise our customer, Tim from Texas, who's taking museum delivery of his C8 today. And he has no idea that we're here. Ryan's over there. So he has no idea that we're here. We're gonna set this up for you here in just a moment. I know that his car is on camera eight, but actually we have a second surprise for you today on the vlog, so I'm glad that you joined us. Thank you so much for being here on our exclusive Corvette channel. The Corvette Museum. Now there's a reason I'm coming in this back side, as I just said, he's on camera eight, so if we walked in the door on the other side, the car would be right there. I wanna sneak up on him. I'm gonna text him here in just a second and tell him, stand in front of the, Stand in front of the camera. I want to get a, a screenshot of you guys. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right, hang on a second. I lost my wingman. He's checking out. We actually have a brick that's over there. Thanks to my friend Cliff, who I've not talked to in a long time. Cliff, if you're watching, miss you, buddy. What you got over here? What are you looking at? Oh, it's not over here. It's over here. It's way down over here. So let's uh, let's set Tim up just a little bit. Hey Tim, it's Rick. Are you in front of the webcam? This is only going to work if he's in front of the in front of the car. Yes, check out the top of the car. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, he's looking up. Oh, I missed the shot. Stay right there for a moment. Let me take it again. Look back up, please. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. Watch this, you guys. Yeah, actually stay there. Just keep looking at the camera. That way I can get the shot on the screenshot. Yeah, yeah keep looking at it. Oh, did you? Oh, you said look at the top of the car. Yeah, that's right. I'm here. I'm really here. Yeah, he's Tim and his wife from Texas. Good to see you. Congratulations, man. Oh, man, it's awesome. Doesn't it look good? I'm excited for you. Yeah, it looks great, man. It looks great. Red calipers are a great call. Just happens that we'd be down here to see you specifically. I'm actually going to Tennessee for something else, so uh, and, and surprise another customer I've never met. Right. So I figured, you know, what the heck we do this? I mean, I've got no cars in inventory. The plant <laughs> shut down, so well. yeah, I might as well hang out with you guys. It was great. We're actually talking. We're going to put the the black lug nuts and the black center caps on these wheels. Oh, okay. That'll be kind of neat. You guys got the natural interior, right? Yes. Oh yes. Very nice, very nice. Don't be in a hurry going home. There's a huge accident, stuff shut down we're for actually, three hours on we're 65. We're actually gonna take two days to get home. Good. We're gonna stop in, at Pickwick uh, Landing State Park in Tennessee. Oh, okay. Tonight, and then we're going to another hotel tomorrow night, and then we'll be home Saturday. Good, yeah, no, no sense of being in a hurry. The a hurry was to get here. Exactly. Right, yeah, take your time getting home, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, I was looking for you up there. And I know, it was great, I wanted to keep doing that. There, so. Keep looking, just keep looking, keep looking up there. And I was waiting for you to hear my voice, and I said, wait a minute, <laughs> what the heck is going on here? I see him coming yeah. around the corner. <laughs> yep, so we're on a tight, tight uh, time schedule. Uh, but I'm glad I got a chance to see you guys hang out for a little bit before your actual stuff started. Right. And then I got to jump in. I always got to go into the Corvette store. Of course. <laughs> Not that I have to. I, I need to and I want to and I will. Oh, it was nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you, I'm man. Glad this happened, man. This yeah. is the perfect car. Yeah, it really is. The convertible's the way to go, man. Let's walk around it real quick, you guys. You can see he's got the painted roof and the cells. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Yeah, look at all. Oh, yeah, it looks good from this side. There you go. That is the first one you see when you come in. So, everybody has a Corvette story and a journey. Mm -hmm. Is this is this the beginning of your Corvette story or a four. continuation? Oh, this is number four. I had a '76 coupe that I actually rebuilt. My okay. wife traded her car in for it. Oh, no kidding! Wow, it was before we were married. Oh wow! Oh. Then we got. Uh, way, to go, way to go, Denise, all right. Wow, yeah, you got a good one. <laughs> then we got a 90 um, as the two-top convertible. It has a hard top on it. Yeah. All black, six-speed. Did you do it like most of the folks do when you had a hard top convertible? 
you drove it home, you took it off, put it in the garage or the basement, and you didn't put it back on until you no, sold actually, it or traded. Actually, I got it used, <laughs> and when I got it home, we took the top off of it because I wanted to see what the condition of the uh, of rack the soft top, top was in. Yeah. And it was like it never been used. It's oh, like wow. they put the hard top on it and never took it off. Yeah. So then I drove it around for about a week, and then put the hard top back on it and never took it back off. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that thing's a real pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, this. <it's... laughs> then we got the 14 Stingray 1LT. Yeah, it's good that you had C7 because up mm -hmm. until now, that was the best Corvette we've ever had. I mean, it was great ergonomics, great comfort, yeah. great, great driving drove, car. Good story. We took our uh, C7. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, we went to the Barrett Jackson in Las Vegas. Okay. But we wanted to make a side trip because my wife's never been to California. So we drove all the way to California, then back to Vegas, and then back home in that car. And she said it was the most comfortable ride she's ever had across the country. Just wait. I know. You did get the GT2 seats. I'm so right. glad that you did. You're going to love them. Oh, yeah. I had to have the GT2 seats. Yeah, that's great. I was back and forth between the carbon fiber interior because I think it's a little too costly for the pieces that you get. Sure. So I didn't decide. You can imagine what the level two carbon fiber in the Z06 is going to cost. That's going to look good. But it's going to look good. Oh, dude, it's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were just a little overpriced on it. I was back and forth, back and right. forth. And I decided not to do it and just have all of the silver as opposed sure. to having a little bit of carbon fiber and then the rest of it. I do a lot of business out of state. I do a lot of business in Texas. Still one of the top five states to this day I do business in. What part of Texas are you from? Conroe. And what is that other big city? Just north of Houston. No, okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. I actually met you right before the, right after the, the C7 launch. You came to the Corvettes show in oh, Houston. Yeah, I was at Houston. And I got one the, of your posters from there. At yeah. the expo. Oh, yeah, it was a long time. And then they moved it to Galveston. And then they moved it to Galveston. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. great. Uh, that's I great. want to get a picture of you and Denise, if I may, real quick. And then, uh, hey, John, what's happening? Great. How you doing, man? Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. I, this neighborhood, this is home, man. <laughs> Yeah. Is one of my favorite tour guides here. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too. Thanks, man. I know you're going to take good care of these guys. Well, they, I'm, I'm not their delivery host. But oh, okay. I just happened to see you standing there. And thought, Thank well, you. Check yeah, I surprised them. Never met them. They didn't yep. know I was coming. It was yep. great. They were. I was texting them. I said, hey, stand in front of the cam. Stand in front of the cam. And then I said, hang on one second. And I walk up behind them. I go, yeah, stand there just for one more minute. I'm going to get the Chinese looking up. It was great. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. How you doing? Where are you guys from? Good. We're from Florida. Oh, wonderful. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Both of them. Oh, yeah. I forget sometimes I got two channels. What day is it? Thank you very much. All right. Great seeing you. Appreciate that. You too. Tim was just telling me he uh, eight is his favorite number and he wanted to be on cam eight and lo and behold, uh, he is. Yeah, yeah congratulations, awesome. more ways than one, man. Yeah, he's pumped. So get ready to have a fun day. I'm glad I got you to see you. Uh, I'm gonna run in, do some stuff I gotta do, and then I'm gonna get on the road, maybe. Uh, we're gonna go across the street to the uh, Motorsports Park. And oh yeah. See how they're doing. And That's the other I, know the, I know the main building is, is, is down from the tornado, but they're actually still scheduling classes and I want people, so pay attention you guys, I want people to know that they're still doing classes and sessions and they can come here. Yeah, they actually uh, are promoting uh, driving the cars now. Good, so. yeah. Actually, Ryan and I are gonna come back uh, sometime this summer, we're gonna do a class. We wanna do Spring Mountain again, but we're gonna come back and do Yeah, let this. me know when you're gonna do Spring Mountain, because okay. I'm gonna schedule mine yeah. and I wanna try to schedule it. Yeah, that. please do it, regardless, yeah. do it. As long it. as it's within a year, so yes, when you let me, I'll, I'll know because yeah. I watch all your all right. YouTube, so. Now, actually, before we go, even though I'm not going to be here for the uh, drive out, we're going to do just a quick little send off pad for uh, Tim and Denise going back to Texas. We've got to send off pad. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. You knew I had to do it. Yeah, you had to. <laughs> I had to do it. Awesome. That's Thank cool. you so much. Thank, Thank you, Rick. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you coming by, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, how about that one? Something a little different different perspective, a different way that we connect and communicate with you guys. What an honor to actually be here at the National Corvette Museum. I, I, I do so much business out of state and there's so many of you that I've never met, but this channel does give us a way to connect. So thank you again for that support. One day I hope to, to high five and shake all of your hands. 
But uh, that was neat to surprise Tim and Denise. Now, Rob, in South Carolina, you're going to be here next week. I'm going to drop this off in the Corvette Museum office for you. Sorry I won't be here for you, buddy. But thank you again for your flexibility and your business. I'll be watching for sure on the webcam. All right, so let's see if we can find... I do this every year. I can't... You would think I ever remember. My brick has been here for like 20 years. Ryan says, hey, let's go find that brick before we get out of here. Ah, okay, we found it. Told you it was right over here. And there it is. It's been here for 22 years, man. All right, let's go across the street. <laughs> Gotta be careful, I'm gonna pull hamstring again. I did kind of when I jumped over my car back in December. Nobody made a big deal out of that. I really jumped physically over my car, you guys. Now, we're not at a Corvette event right now. I mean, yeah, there's your boy Ricky's. But the parking lot is full. It's full on the other side, too. That's a good thing for business. Way to go, you guys. This is a destination, the National Corvette Museum, Bowling Green, Kentucky, y'all. Well, guys, uh, that building, still not a good sign in its condition, but this is a good sign. Seeing guys out here, he's got the race suit on, he's got a race car, got a C5Z06 over there, so this tells me that things are happening on the track. Let's go inside and find out exactly what's happening and how you can participate. Ryan, does that look familiar? That's probably the one you drove for your 18th birthday out here, man. So let's go. Actually, I forgot to show you this temporary building that they have set up. Uh, very, just already really, really nice and done. So this is the temporary building set up because that is tore up. Even the garages are tore up. So coming here, I don't know if they've got uh, meeting. Yeah, it looks like they have meetings and presentations in there. There's a podium, video screen, tables. Nice tables out in here. Hey, I like to see the helmets over here. And here's some of the stuff you guys can do if you're not familiar with this, driving the cars they provide here in Bowling Green at the NCM Motorsports Park. Corvette Touring Program, you get a driving club, coaching from Andy Pilgrim. So this is, you have to say it, it's a mini Spring Mountain. Yes, that's exactly what they're doing here. You're going to love it. High-speed karting, yeah. I want to do some of that. Look at this, high-performance driving, including Camaros, C7, and C8 Corvette here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Yeah, let's go inside and talk to the guys. No, this is a cool business card holder. Look at this. <laughs> the engine block. <laughs> I love it. You don't want to go on video? All right, time for one more surprise on today's vlog uh, for me, for them, and for you guys to share in the moment. Jeff and Barb moved from California to Tennessee, but unfortunately, my navigator just tells me there's a major accident. 65 is shut down for hours, so I'm not quite sure when we're going to get there, but you're going to see it here shortly because we're going to edit right to it. Uh, they're selling their 21 Corvette. I'm personally picking it up and bringing it back to the store, and they're not flipping the car like a lot of guys have done out there. Maybe we'll talk about that in detail. It's a little private, but I appreciate the opportunity to get that car back and offer it to you guys. Jeff is still on our Z06 list, so that's going to be coming soon for him too, but uh, he has no idea. I've been texting him. In fact, just before I turned the camera on, I texted him and said, hey, Jeff, I just heard from the drivers. There's a big accident, which it really is. Uh, they're going to be three, four hours out, but they'll get a hold of you as they get closer. So he thinks the driver's <laughs> we're the drivers are coming to pick up that car uh, i just want to surprise him and thank him he's been i'm just going to tell you guys he knows that he has but i'm going to tell you guys because it means so much to me besides the support of the channel the business opportunities he's been so generous to me and years ago this is a guy that was in the car business maybe that's why we get along so well he understands what we're going through right now but uh, i just want to publicly say thank you to jeff and barb for for so much Last time we were here, I didn't spend any time showing you this. If you can see, the Bowling Green assembly sign is tilted, and that's a result from the tornado. 
you've seen the damage the tornado's done to this community. That's got to be a pretty tough sign to be standing there. After all that, let's uh, let's hop up here for a second. Looks like the Union label sign has been blown out of it. So you guys can see right here. See how it's tilted? Yep, it's like this. See that? I wanted to take a peek real quick at these. Oh, <laughs> they know that we're up here checking the vents. Look at that. That is deliberately put there to block the vent. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, let's, yep, yep. They don't want you to see what these are. The vent is blocked on this one too. I just wanted to see if it was an EX car, uh, a 23, a 22, if it's, oh, wow. Looking out the back window here. Ah, uh, sneaky GM. You didn't think we'd notice that. Your boy Ricky did. There's not even emblems on the front end of this car. There is on that one, but there's not on this one. And the 23s are supposed to have 70th anniversary back in here for you guys. So I don't think this is a 23. From the outside, everything else, you'll never be able to tell the difference unless it's one of the new colors or something. But a blocked VIN. Ah, a black. <laughs> I do like the yellow with the yellow seat belts. Yeah. All right, I got an hour nap throughout all the traffic. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I had forgotten. Look at these, uh, man, look at these steep driveways here. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, I think this, well, the car we're picking up does have front lift. I think if you lift, look at these drive, they're going like this, man. Yeah, I think you need front lift in these driveways. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to meet Jeff and Barb. They have no idea that we're coming to pick up the car that we're buying from them, that they bought from us, and there'll be another one. I think he knows we're here. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh my god. Is he here? He is. He is. <laughs> the dri hey, the drivers are here. <laughs> I, I just was in the garage and Pardon. I heard an engine. Nice to meet you, sweetheart. Hey, sorry, I, you know, and, and just for privacy, if you don't want me to have the house on the vlog, oh, I won't do that. Time. Yeah, I have Ryan? a vlog. Yes, that's Ryan. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Good to meet you, friend. Oh buddy. my gosh. Oh, come on in. What a good guy. Okay, uh, we're not going to film right now. We're going to their house just for privacy, but we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, now we're outside. They're a little sad. You understand that they're sad. Uh, this is the baby that's going away. It is named Valerie. Valerie. As I told you guys before I got here, uh, Jeff used to be in the car business, so we had some car business stories. stories. But you got a big racing background. I think that's awesome. That's very awesome. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. So I asked him, I said, well, do you go to track and at least watch race? And I said, no. No. <laughs> if I did, I'd want to sell all my stock and buy a race car and start all over again. I, I, I have a big passion for baseball, and I said, I know exactly what you mean, man. I, I love going to watch the games, but I want to hop the fence and get on the damn field. I just I want to play the game. I understand right. that, too. Yeah, I absolutely. get it, buddy. Man, you've been so generous to, to me and my family. Um, I just I just want to say thank you in person. Yeah, well, I love you, buddy. I, I, you too. I do. You're awesome, man. You're a good You're guy. You're awesome. You are, too, man. You are, too. And it's neat to share this with people, but uh, I tell you guys constantly that, yeah, the car is the star, but it is the people that make the difference, and this is what keeps me going. And, yeah, it kind of sucks. The Corvette plant's down this week, but it was a blessing in disguise. I'm like, what am I going to do? Sit and answer more of your emails and more of the same <laughs> questions? No, I'm going to go on the road to Tennessee and see Jeff and Barb. So, it was actually, great. I'm glad I got to do this. Me too. I'm glad you're here. So, what did you think it when you saw me at the door? I couldn't well, believe she, it. she came to the door first, and you heard the car. <laughs> I did, but were, I did, I did, it didn't cross my mind I know. that it was you. Yeah, I and kept texting him, like, oh, the drivers are almost there, the drivers are stuck in traffic, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I know, there's bad traffic, and then next thing you know, we're 
we're here. Ryan enjoyed the conversation, I'm sure. Yeah. Man, a few words. That <laughs> yeah, I, I know, yeah. I think he spoke once or twice in there. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, I just, I got a bad habit because, you know, Jeff asked a question, you know, of Ryan, and then I've got the story to tell about Ryan, you know, so proud dad, you just, I start talking for him. It's like, okay, shut up, let the kid talk. And I had said something to folks before I got here today, and I don't know, we probably don't need to say it. I, I just want to thank you for not being the flipper. You know, the, I, it was a personal reason you need to sell the car. It's a very short term type of scenario and you're going to be fine and dandy. You're on our Z06 list, as I was telling folks earlier. Um, so we don't need to go into the details of that. But I just, I guess more importantly, I just wanted to say, hey, thanks for not flipping the car and kind of holding us hostage. Uh, we gave you really good money for the car. You gave us an opportunity to sell the car and we're still from the next guy is going to be a very fair deal, still better than the marketplace. And I think that's the value in the whole package of, of all this. Well, I never plan to flip it. No, I know. I, I told Rob, we're going to sell it back to Rick. Let, let make some money on it. I appreciate it. I didn't it. think it would be selling it this soon. No, I know. I know. <laughs> I thought he'd be training it. No, I, I'm not even, you know, we're speaking of track. We're not even going to pass the track break in miles by the time I get back to Columbus. I mean, I'll probably be about 12, maybe 1,300 miles by the time I get back. So I'm not even going to be past the 1,500. So you guys can break it in at the 1,500, oh, whoever would actually get it. And then you can go do some track stuff. And that's what happened. You know, we talked about racing and tracking and, yeah, you got me excited for this year, man. Hey. Absolutely. If I get a new race car, then I'll, I'll tow it up and we'll go to the track together. Okay, you just, you take him. No, he's, he's the talent. Shh, don't tell nobody. Yeah, he's actually the talent. I, I love doing it. I'm still learning, but he's a natural. I mean, you, you could probably teach him a few things. You'd be really impressed by him. So you've had, real quick before we wrap up, this portion of the vlog. Um, you've got a racing background, as we have acknowledged, and you are a good driver. You've only had that a short time. There's about 800 miles on it. Right. What did you like most about that car? The way it handles. Yeah. The handling, the way it feels. Uh, you want to give it a send off, Pat, before we go? Uh, you know, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, walk up over there. You give it a send off, Pat. I had to ask. All right. Jeff's going to give it a send off, Pat, before we go. All right. Here we go. Send <laughs> off, Pat. Little wave. Oh, oh he's gonna, oh, he's gonna rub the wing. <laughs>